I love a movie that a family can go to and come out not worried about what they saw and actually can discuss things. Right. What did you think when you read the script? Uh, you know, I sort of had a similar kind of impression that it was, a, you know, clearly a spiritually based story, but one that I thought profoundly addressed, you know, that, that, that count that sort of co contra dynamic of you know a family can have issues they can have a, a a conflict and deal with it in a very sort of paternal maternal you know very traditional way and you know when a five year old is espousing about going to heaven that's something that would take any parent out of their game and I think that it's probably in the you know in the in the pantheon of of topics that a five year old would bring up, that's one of the more daunting ones. Like I went to heaven, and what do you guys think? You know that how would parents deal with that and try to using their powers of logic try to figure out you know what really happened with our son who we do believe in, and we have our own spirituality and our own secular beliefs. You know. How do we, it's like you still have to address the fantastic. I agree, and I, what I like about it is, is that it's not this immediate, oh, he's right and this is true. Right. They, they battle with it, and he's a preacher, for goodness sake. Right, you know? <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And, and the rest of the town, you know, is just sort of tornadically kind of drawn to it, and, but, and, and that's okay initially, but then whenever it starts becoming more of, you know, sort of outsiders are curious about it and are skeptical of it, that's whenever it, it, it becomes sort of a, 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 a more kind of threat, spiritually threatening dynamic. You've met the family? I have not, oh. not the whole family. Okay. They were there. I'd only, I met Todd when he came once when we were shooting and the, the family was there. And I think at some point somebody pointed the boy, the, the young man out. He's a young man now. Right. They pointed him out, and you know he's like, you know, he's like a teenager. He's like a strapping teenager. Does this change you at all when you make a movie like this? Does it make you think about things you didn't think about before? Absolutely. It. Uh, you know, I regard myself as a spiritual person, and I've always been fascinated um, with the concepts of heaven and hell, but they're so big. And, you know, you kind of like you ponder it like you ponder the sky at night. But an out of body experience, which is obviously what he describes, that to me is a whole nother level of fascination. And then how that out of body experience is very specifically designed or, or very specifically described by what he sees in heaven and, and who he meets. And described by someone who's not jaded and, you know, exactly. doesn't have a, a lifetime of experience to draw on to right. describe it. And a lot of people are like, oh, you know, I had an out-of-body experience because I was, you know, so high on morphine coming out of surgery and, you know, and, and, I, and I saw my Grammy and Grampy, you know, working the farm and, you know, and I ran towards Grammy and Grampy and boom, I was back in, you know, the OR. It's, it's, it's not as specific. They're rarely, it's as, as specific, but that's why I like the way the movie's bookended with the girl painting, you know, the eyes of Jesus. Um, you know, that's her very specific rendering of what her spiritual consciousness uh, journey was. Right. Well, I thank you. Good to see you again. Good Appreciate to see you, Gino. It. Always a pleasure. Yeah.